miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room, and we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with the Seattle Seahawks. two months of the regular season down what will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 down Wilson got a man and he hits him in stride and this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30 remember these two teams met earlier in the year in Santa Clara with the Niners coming out on top so a win here in Santa Clara would give them the season series Second and five. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game. But in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and fix up a nice game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big play that time through the air. 34 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now it's Carson. He will push his way down to about the 14. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Snap it at one. Now Wilson. That's going to go as a loss of 17 on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Wilson. 
Nelson. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this one dropped in the end zone. Oh, it looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. And that hits the right upright and caroms away. It's no good. So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I think this might have been good from 55, but you'll see it just conk off that upright, and they're denied a chance at three points. A little juke. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Well, this defense for the Seahawks, they really played well a week ago in that win over the Jets. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. And he'll go down, but now before getting this inside the 30. Certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Play action. Now it's Lance. That's going to be caught. Touchdown for the Eagles. Debo Samuel, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Niners have taken the early lead. And that touchdown drive happened very, very quickly. You knew that they had the quick strike ability. They showed it. And for a defense that understands that, it still drives them crazy when it actually happens to them. Fast and furious, there came the points. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. The 6-2 and two is their record through the first eight weeks. Now, Charles, what is your assessment for them in the second half of the season? Well, I think that the road gets a little bit tougher for them. And when I look at their schedule, I see some of these road games, and I know those are going to be difficult. But this is a good team, so I'm going to go with 11-5. and five. That seems about right, and I think that'd be a nice accomplishment, too. From the 31, Wilson. And the Niners get there and bring him down. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. Wilson and the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Throwing is Wilson. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. And this will be taken at the 13. 54 yards on the punt, 12 on the return. And the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. And if you can build a bit of a cushion as you head towards the second part of the season, 
that allows you to survive the expected injuries, potential upset losses, all of those things, and still be in good shape. Second and six, just inside the 30. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Now Lance. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got a bump down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. These two teams matching up for the second time this year. Their first meeting back in October, week six, and it was the visiting Niners who won that ball game, so they'll look to make it a clean sweep here at home in Santa Clara. From the 44, Lance. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. The land's going to throw. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. There because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you can just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Now a handoff here to his running back. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want well to go ahead and run it anyway because that's your strength. Now Lance on the bootleg. He'll buy some time right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down at eight. Push him back. Hey, check back 34. Mike, 34. I got you. I got you. Shotgun now for Lance. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. The 49ers are going to turn over to the special teams crew. The field goal unit is out there now. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. Carlson able to put this one through. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it's just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage.
Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and ten at the 40. From the gun, Wilson. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right sideline. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes inbounds there. It's a big play there for Seattle. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They run it with Carson. They get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now a give right side. It's Carson. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Wilson. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Touchdown. Will Disley. His second touchdown on the season. And the Seahawks able to make this a close game again. Gano the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two? win your division number three and i think the biggest goal of all try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in january and hopefully get to the super bowl that way so from the 36 now first and 10 on play action lance throwing left side it's complete and he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. Now a throw to the end 
zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Lance to throw it. He's going to take another shot here. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Throwing his lance on third down. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December yeah, left. We're, football. we're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs. So they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum down. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Wilson's throw into the hands of Lockett. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Wilson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. On third down, Wilson. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll kick it away for the second time. time 57 yards the official distance and the offense will take over with a new set of downs the 49er offense set to get this drive underway 
And they may just be content to take this three-point lead and head into the locker room. Looking middle, and that's complete. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Fake the handoff. Now Lance. He's going to sling this deep downfield. He rifles one that's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And to the 40 yard line, that's where the return stops. It certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance going to halftime with the lead. Why did they take a chance with a throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering. And now this defense has to try to protect that lead going into the locker room. Here's Wilson going for Metcalf on the deep ball into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it's a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten at the five-yard line. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front as we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. Taking it about the one. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys are lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Off of play action. Here's Lance. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. see an extra defensive back on the field. little surprise here on third and one. Now a handoff looking right. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. 
A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. to throw as Wilson. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. But the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It's a four-yard pickup, and it'll be fourth down. Wilson on the keeper. But when you do call quarterback sneak, you don't mind if your quarterback's a little bit on the vertically challenged side, do you? Because he's just going to hide behind his big guys up front and be able to surge forward and pick up the first down. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was say, maybe makes that offense feel good but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. They go play action now. Wilson. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. From the shotgun, Wilson. They'll find Metcalf. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Try and throw for it with Wilson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Niners take over in terrific field position.
Now they try the right side here. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now a play fake. Lance rolling to his right. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Lance. And the Seahawk defense gets to him, and they bring him down. John Kaminsky drops him for a loss of 14 yards, and it also brings up fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number? Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Nick Bosa in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. So still 14 yards to go, second down. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson, that's complete to Disley, the tight end. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. That one taken in by Dwayne Eskridge. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. This is Carson. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down and four. Wilson going for Metcalf on the deep ball. He's got a man complete. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. You normally talk about the mobility and the accuracy first, but the arm strength, that's what can turn Russ into danger, Russ. Extra point try good by Gano. And the lead is now 14-10. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play.
So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. To throw, it's Lance. His throw incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Here's second and ten. Here's Lance. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. The Niners on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and ten. Working from the gun, Lance. This one incomplete. Almost picked off by the rookie, but he couldn't quite look it in. And now it's fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And this ball's going to be down now right at the 10-yard line. Good spot. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, taking it right down Broadway. He's at the 50, the 30. 10, 5, and all the way in, touchdown Seattle. The CD, I mean, there are touchdown runs, and then there are touchdown runs, and that one certainly fell into the latter category, and that deserves a couple exclamation points. Gano the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And yeah, that one's going to be off target and incomplete. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. Well, sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. The Niners on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and six. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. 
So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Lance now to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Play action. Now it's Lance. Gets this one to use check. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Lance now on first down. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Shotgun now for Lance. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and ten. Throwing now is Lance. This one caught by Kittle. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. On first and 10, here's Lance. This will be caught at about the six. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the 49ers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Two-point conversion attempt still to come. They're going to try and run. And he will get into the end zone as a two-point conversion is successful. And the lead is down to a field goal here in the fourth. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those 
gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their That's first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Chain second and 12. Throwing is Wilson. Short throw to Disley. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a third down, but they are in field goal range already. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And Gano's kick is right through. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he had converted them. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well, because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. set to get this drive underway and that last drive a long drive but not just that they had a great air attack going do they stick with that I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive starting backed up in their own territory why would you change anything they've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so Yeah, because the secondary they really look clueless and that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. 
Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understanding of where they are in the field? Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. He's back to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And this defense has broken it open as they return it to the house for six. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And boy, things switched on a dime here. The fumble recovery for the touchdown and also a two-point try on top successful. That feels like a momentum call. Pick it up on a fumble return, take it the other way for a touchdown. That's demoralizing for a team to have it happen against them. So the offense just says, you know something? Let's add to it. Pile on top, go for two now while their heads are down. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Complete out to Samuel on the quick throw. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. From the 31, Lance. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Lance to throw it. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. And they'll go for it. Lance. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Now Lance again. He's going to let it fly. And got his man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Lance. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side. Get that high hop and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And this is going to be taken in by the Seahawks. And it would appear they're on their way to victory now. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. The Seahawks in victory formation as they go ahead and take the knee. 